All right, guys, we are in my kitchen right now. I'm gonna cook up the fish. I did like this Instagram poll thing, or not a poll, but a questionnaire. I'm trying to look for different recipes for uhus because I'm always used to the big uhu and like the Chinese steam style. So I put that out there. Here are some of the answers that I got, and I couldn't really find a definitive one. Plus, I'm also doing a 30 day cleanse. I totally forgot. So Today's recipe is gonna be kind of like, everything's gonna be gluten-free, avoiding like soy, wheat, all that kind of stuff. Uh, it should be interesting, it should be a nice little catch and cook, um, and a really healthy meal, so let's get started. So again guys, my SD card got wiped out. I did a nice little outro after we finished diving and it just didn't go through. So instead, we're just gonna be cooking up the fish right now. All right, my wife always puts this like blanket on top so we can sit on the cooler. When it's in the house, it's just an amazing cooler right here. So we got the fish. It's been a few days. Let's see how the ice is holding up. Still a bunch of ice in here. The fish is kind of submerged. So let's pull out the uhu and the papillo, clean it up, and then let's, let's get it cooking. It looks like I'm gonna have to take out both the fish at the same time because they're both stuck on this coolie over here. So let's look at some of these fish right here. A nice solid size papil. I'd say this is like a solid a two pounder. Perfect cooking size, nice to clean. Meat is gonna be real tender. Sometimes with the bigger fish, you don't really want, you wanna kinda of avoid them because it's more tough to meet, the adult ones. So you kinda of wanna find medium sized fish. Like this one, this is not a huge blue. It's a little on the bigger side, but this is perfect for cooking. So let's go ahead, clean these fish up and then we'll get, we'll get this whole process started. All right, so for the scales, it's gonna be pretty simple. Um, just like all the other catch and cooks we do with the uhu, you're just gonna drag in, you're spooning up. And usually I'll do this outdoors or at the beach, but I wanted to take some nice pictures of the fish. Uh, it just looks better with all the scales on. I actually cover up my garbage disposal because I don't know how the scales affect it. And yeah, keep running it up. And we'll go ahead and flay the meat afterwards. One thing you guys can do too is when you're scaling like an uhu like this or you're cleaning it in the water, you could even do it right after you catch it if you don't plan on taking any cool pictures or anything. When you scale it and you clean it out, it will actually kind of chum some fish in. So just be careful because that can also attract sharks. Anything that's going to attract predators is going to attract sharks because, I mean, they are the apex predators of the ocean pretty much. So just keep that in mind. You can chum it if you feel like you're in like some good conditions where you can call in like a bigger fish, like an uku or like a lure or something. And then you don't have to do it cleaning it in the sink in your house. Pretty much everybody here on the live stream is gonna be on this YouTube video. So say what's up everybody, check it out. I'm gonna throw this in this video, this little catch and cook. People in here showing me some love. All right guys, so we cleaned up the uhu right here. As you guys can see, all the guts are out. I still gotta pull out some of the gills but all the scales are off. I'm gonna give it a nice little rinse. I might fillet it just to, just to bake it better, but other than that, it should be, should be pretty good. Oh my gosh, look at my dogs howling. Weirdos. All right, so now that the uhu, the gills and stuff are all out, we're gonna go ahead and fillet this papil. I like to fillet it because it's easier to make like panko nuggets. That's my wife's favorite is papil nuggets. So I'm gonna go ahead and fillet this fish up. Don't need to scale it or anything, but um, I do need a cutting board. And I've got this big old knife. I'm not sure where my fillet set is, but this knife should do the trick. Although it's a little overkill because it's just almost just as big as the papil. So I got the cutting board right here. I'm just gonna fillet it, fillet the fish up, and then I'll show you guys the slabs after I'm done. All right, so I did a decent job on this side. You can see it still is a little bit more meat. Right here, some that came off, and you guys can eat this raw. That was a salty piece. All right guys, so I got the two slabs right here. So what I'm gonna do is get one side of this fish, cut it at an angle to get the skin off. That's why I like filleting fish like this is because worry about scaling it. And actually leaving the scales on makes it easier to skin it. So right there, that's the Milu skin right there, nice and thin. And now we just got a nice big piece of meat. All right, so what you do next is you wanna cut the, the bones out in the middle, you kind of want to run the spine. So even if you see that red piece in the middle of the fillet, I'm just going to cut along that and that's going to remove all those small bones so you don't choke on it. Cut these up into nice little pieces that we can ponkle, nice little pieces that we can fry up. Let's get all of this fish 
in a bowl, salt it up, put all the seasonings, whatever else I want to cook it with. But yeah, got a nice little chunks that we can fry up or do whatever. Next up is the uhu. I kind of butchered the last time I filleted an uhu. So this time should be a little better, but we'll try our best. Coming out nice so far. Look at that. The part that I always struggle with. All right, so we're gonna leave this fillet on, as I heard somebody else say, because it makes it easier to fillet the other side because it's, it's, a, it's a level surface. All right, that was not bad at all. All right, so one of the guys that messaged for like the uhu recipe and talked about coconut milk and stuff, so I found this fish baked in coconut milk recipe on Food Network and we're gonna try it out. I don't have all the ingredients. I do not have mixed minced green chili, jalapeno, any of that stuff, coriander, turmeric, turmeric, fennel seeds. What I do have is this nice variety of spices that I'm gonna be using. So let's go ahead and kind of follow this recipe and then see how it comes out. Step number one is to preheat the oven to 350 degrees. Two cups of finely chopped onions. So we actually missed one step, which is to rub the fish in oil and lemons. So let's just add some oil on here. Lemon juice. And just kind of just rub it all in. The lemon right here. And it's set to refrigerate it for an hour, but obviously we forgot this step. We don't have that kind of time. I'm just gonna throw it in the fridge for however long um, until I'm ready to cook it. We have the ginger and the garlic all cut up, the onions right here, and then we're gonna cut a tomato and then cut it into small little fine pieces. So in this container right here, I'm gonna add the rest of my seasoning. So I actually do have coriander. I've got fennel seed, which is all both on the recipes. I got crushed red pepper, red, pe red pepper, although it did say um, ground red pepper. And then of course I've got some Hawaiian salt and some black pepper right here. So we got six teaspoons of coriander. Added some red pepper. What is this? A half tables or half teaspoon of fennel seed. The fennel seed is supposed to be ground up, but I don't have anything to do it with. I'm sure I could try to figure out a way, but I'm just gonna rush it. I'm pretty sure this thing will dissolve somehow in the sauce. Um, that's what we're making with this, so hopefully it comes out. All right, guys, so the first thing we need to do for this sauce is to heat up this pan. I'm gonna add some oil wherever my oil went just now. And we're gonna be frying these onions first. So it says to fry onion in oil until edges are nicely brown. Throw in the onion right here. Got a lot of onions. I'm actually gonna switch this into this thing because we are making a sauce. Add the garlic and the ginger. And again, guys, this all this stuff right here is a part of my cleanse that I'm doing. This isn't my typical normal recipe, and I totally butchered it. Please, if you guys are gonna do it, maybe do it the right way. I'm kind of just improvising here with what I have. I'm not trying to spend a whole lot of money just for one recipe. I already dropped like 30, 40 bucks on this one meal. So hopefully it comes out good. I mean, don't have all the ingredients, but I do have the fish and I do have the some of the ingredients and I got a dream. So hopefully it works out. Next thing I'm gonna do is open up this coconut milk. It says to use an unsweetened one. Okay, so it's been about five minutes. Can't really tell, it's still greenish, but it's starting to brown. I'm gonna add the rest of the ingredients now. It's been a couple minutes. So now I'm just gonna add the tomatoes, this, um, spice that we made and then we're gonna just kind of cook it up it says to let the tomatoes um cook until it starts turning into like this paste and starts getting like not as clumpy so we'll see how that looks so that's pretty pasty looking as far as the tomatoes it's not really any pieces of tomatoes it's just mixed in the next step is to add half a cup of coconut milk um, so i got half a cup right here and I got the coconut milk unsweetened right here. So I'm gonna add that in and I set to let, let it simmer for five minutes. Oh man. Now we just let this simmer for about five minutes. All right, next step is to place the fish in the oven for 10 minutes. You guys can see that by itself. It's starting to turn whitish that's because the lemon is actually cooking it with the citrus so we'll put that in for 10 minutes 
and check on it right after. And we got this nice sauce forming up right here. It smells so good. It's been about 10 minutes. Now we're gonna add this sauce. fish and it says to seal it tightly with aluminum foil which I don't have so I'm just gonna flip over this thing right on top to kind of just keep the heat inside been about 20, 25 minutes. Check on the fish. Oh, steamy. Oh. Here it is. Got some cilantro going on here. All right. All right, so here is the uhu. I decided that I'm gonna cook the um, papil another day, because this is just gonna be a lot of food right now, so. This looks amazing, guys. All right, so let's do a little taste test action. Wow, that is good. It's like, probably like the most unique way I've ever cooked uhu. Definitely the most unique way I've ever cooked uhu. You can really taste that coriander. Um, having it ground would have probably been better because I kind of bit into it. Um, but man, that flavor is just amazing. But that sauce, let's get some more of this. Man, that's hot. But it's so good right now. Like I mentioned, the only thing is the coriander is really strong. That's because I was supposed to use ground coriander instead of just the whole ones, but I didn't have anything to do it with. So, um, yeah, gonna make a plate right now. Got some bok choy that I might be cooking, and I'll cook the papil tomorrow. See how that comes out. Might cook it in the coconut, coconut uh, milk as well. Try to figure out a recipe to do that too. But yeah. Other than that, yeah, let's go ahead and make a plate right now. Show you guys kind of what we're eating tonight. All right, so I changed my mind. I'm cooking more stuff. Got the bok choy going right here. Oh, not the bok choy. I'm gonna fry some garlic up. Throw some vegetables in it. I'm actually gonna cook the papillo tonight too. Let's get a bunch of food prep going. Got bok choy. Oh, I like that. Special guest, Logan. Ooh, <laughs> yeah. Alright, right, so I got the papillo right here. I'm just gonna add some seasoning while well, I got Logan in the back cutting up some garlic. So we're gonna add some garlic salt. It's a whole bunch. A whole bunch. Some Hawaiian salts. Whole bunch. Dad? Also gonna add some pepper. Mix it all up. Alright, so here's the bok choy and garlic. Next up I'm gonna fry the fish. So I already seasoned it. So I'm gonna do is add some oil. Look at this one, it's good. Let's get the garlic in there. Look at that, look at that. Look at that sizzle. Mm, that charcoal pop. Okay, you can throw the fish in. Throw them all in. Just dump it? Yeah. Wow, but okay. Chin, watch out. There we go. Okay. And you don't have to add that much garlic. We just love garlic. Or I love garlic. How about loading over here? I love it. Love it? Love it? I gotta love it. Alright, so the fish is pretty um, seared. 
So it's still raw, a little bit on the inside. And I just watched a YouTube video, and literally all the lady did was just cook it in coconut milk. So I'm gonna add this all inside. There we go. Coconut milk is all inside. Let it heat up, extend because it was kind of separated. Some parts were thick and other parts were just oily. Guys, so the fish is just simmering in here with the coconut milk. And it looks so good. Look at that. There we go. Got the papil cooked with coconut milk, fried and cooked with coconut milk. The uhu, um, that little special recipe. Some bok choy garlic and some hapa rice, which is brown and white rice. And then we got some furukake too. This is all 30 day approved on our cleanse that we're doing. So there's no soy at all. There's no gluten at all. And yeah, it's gonna be, should be good to go. Oh, you have to go right in my face. <laughs> my hair messed up. Right. Perfect. That's kind of a lot of rice. That's right. Like that. Corner. Bok choy, Some garlic, and lastly, get the fish. So you see, see a spoon right here. Get that. that sauce. Oh man, there it is, man. And guys, now I'm just gonna add some furukake. You can buy this pretty much anywhere, Longs, um, Malama Market, Food Land, Tamura's, Walmart. Put that right on the rice. Oh, it's a lot. That's right. Even it out. There it is. This is so good. Mmm. Mmm. Go. Yummy, huh? I'm gonna rest. Good? Huh. How was it, man? It's good? Yeah. Do you like better the uhu or the papil? I gotta go with the uhu. Oh, it's more, it's more ingredients, more fancy stuff inside. All right, let's do a nice little meal bite. The papil is like super tender, yeah. Mm -hmm. Moist. Moist. All right, guys, thank you guys for watching this episode. Food was delicious, awesome dive with um, some subscribers and now some friends of mine. So, yeah, catch you guys in the next episode. Shoots Mahalo. See you later. Bye bye. <laughs>